we're ready for you guys. Thank you. I don't, know if, I don't know if what you said of that guy makes any sense. I didn't get that, but I think it was scared the Jesus out of it. All right, you were pretty fierce. <laughs> Where did you find this place? I first came in because of the name. Mm. Serendipity. It's one of my favorite words. It is? Mm -hmm. Why? It's just such a nice sound for what it means, a fortunate accident. Mm -hmm. It was a very nice time. Well, I hope you enjoy the gloves you bought yourself. Oh, I'm sure I will. I usually appreciate my thoughtfulness. <laughs> Not like this. Scarf. No, nothing down here. Why'd you go upstairs? I wish I could fall. Hey. Hey. Let's go do something. All right. What do you want to do? I don't care. Happy birthday. It's on the house. Thank you. Sarah, you know, it's a wonderful thought. The idea that all of life, that every single event is all part of some master plan designed to lead us to our universal soulmate. But if that's really true, then what's the point of living? I have to give it all up now, don't I? Sarah, you have a fiancé who, despite his weird Eastern music, which we hope is just a phase, <laughs> let's hope... It's a bridal shop. Oh my god, the irony. Wait right here. I'll be right back. Bye. Stay here. Time, please. Uh, about 7 30. You guys, tell. <laughs> hmm. Secret about me and Jack. Hmm. Does it have anything to do with feelings? Switch. Hmm? Sorry, Mom. It's okay, honey. I think I'm beginning to guess the secret. Are you mad? Not really. I think he should have talked about it with me, though. He was afraid you'd hate him. 